Welcome back for those joining us for sub-element E4. To those who are just finding sub-element E4, you'll want to go back and check out the previous three sub-elements so you're getting in line with your extra class amateur radio license. Sub-element E4 covers amateur radio practices. There are five exam questions come out, that come out of the five groups in sub-element E4. E4A covers test equipment, analog and digital instruments, spectrum analyzers, antenna analyzers, oscilloscopes, and RF measurements. E4A01 says which of the following limits the highest frequency signal that can be accurately displayed on a digital oscilloscope? And that's A, the sampling rate of analog to digital converter. E4A02, which of the following parameters does a spectrum analyzer display on the vertical and horizontal axes? B, signal amplitude and frequency. E4A04, which of the following test instruments is used to display spurious emissions and or intermodulation distortion products generated by an SSB transmitter? B, spectrum analyzer. E4A04, how is compensation of an oscilloscope probe performed? A, the square wave is displayed and the probe is adjusted until the horizontal portions of the displayed wave are nearly flat as possible. A4A05, what is the purpose of using a prescaler with a frequency counter? D, reduce the frequency, signal frequency to within the counter's operating range. E4A06, what is the effect of aliasing on a digital oscilloscope when displaying a waveform? A, false, a false jittery low frequency version of the waveform is displayed. E4A07, which of the following is an advantage of using an antenna analyzer compared to an SWR bridge? B, antenna analyzers compute SWR and impedance automatically. E4A08, which of the following is used to measure SWR? D, all of these choices are correct, which is, you can use a directional watt meter, a vector network analyzer, or a network, or an antenna analyzer. E4A09, which of the following is good practice when using an oscilloscope oscilloscope probe. A. Minimize the length of the probe's ground connection. E4A10. Which trigger mode is most effective when using an oscilloscope to measure a linear power supply's output ripple? D. Line. E4A11. Which of the following can be measured with an antenna analyzer? D. All of these choices are correct. The choices are velocity factor, cable length, and resonant frequency of a tuned circuit. E4B covers measurement technique and limitations, instrument accuracy and performance limitations, probes, techniques to minimize errors, measurements of Q, instrument calibration, S parameters, vector network analyzers, and RF signals. E4B01, which of the following factors most affects the accuracy of a frequency counter? It's B, time base accuracy. E4B02, what is the significance of voltmeter sensitivity expressed in ohms per volt? A, the full scale reading of the voltmeter multiplied by its ohms per volt rating is the input impedance of the voltmeter. B, E4B03, which S parameter is equivalent to forward gain? That's C, S21. E4B04, which S parameter represents input port return loss or reflection coefficient equivalent to VSWR. That's A, S11. E4B05, which three test loads are used to calibrate an RF vector network analyzer? B, short circuit, open circuit, and 50 ohms. E4B06, how much power is being absorbed by the load when a directional power meter connected between a transmitter and terminating load reads 100 watts forward power and 25 watts reflected power. D, 75 watts. E4B07, what do subscripts of S parameters represent? A, the port or ports at which measurements are made. E4B08, which of the following can be used to determine the Q of a series tuned circuit? Let's see, the bandwidth of the circuit's frequency response. E4B09, which of the following can be measured by a two port vector network analyzer. B. Filter frequency response. 
E4B10, which of the following methods measures intermodulation distortion in an SSB transmitter? B. Modulate the transmitter using two AF signals having non-harmonically related frequencies and observe the RF output with a spectrum analyzer. E4B11, which of the following can be measured with a vector network analyzer? Answer is D. All these choices are correct, which is input impedance, output impedance, and reflective coefficient. E4C covers receiver performances, noise or phase noise, noise floor, image rejection, minimum detectable signals, increasing signal to noise ratio and dynamic range, noise figure, reciprocal mixing, selectivity, SW or SDR, non-linearity, use of attenuators at low frequencies. E4C01, what is the effect of excessive phase noise in an SDR's receiver's master clock oscillator? D. It can combine with strong signals on nearby frequencies to generate interference. E4C02, which of the following receiver circuits can be effective in eliminating interference from strong out-of-band signals? A. The front end filter or preselector. E4C03, what is the term for the suppression of an FM receiver of one signal by another stronger signal on the same frequency. C. Capture effect. E4C04, what is the noise figure of a receiver? D. The ratio in dB of the noise generated by the receiver to the theoretical minimum noise. E4C05, what does a receiver noise floor of negative 174 dBm represent? B. The th theoretical noise in a 1 Hz bandwidth at the input of a perfect receiver at room temperature. E4C06, how much does increasing a receiver's bandwidth from 50 Hz to 1000 Hz increase the receiver's noise floor? D. 13 dB. E4C07, what does the MDS of a receiver represent? B. The minimum discernible signal. E4C08, an SDR receiver is overloaded when the signal input or input signal exceeds what level? D. The reference voltage of the analog to digital converter. E4C09, which of the following choices is a good reason for selecting a high IF for a super heterodyne HF or VHF communications receiver? C. Easier for front end circuitry to eliminate image responses. E4C10, what is an advantage of having a variety of receiver bandwidths from which to select? C. Receive bandwidth can be set to match the modulation bandwidth, maximizing noise or signal to noise ratio and minimizing interference. E4C11, why does input attenuation reduce receiver overload at the lower frequency HF bands with little or no impact on signal to noise ratio? D. Atmospheric noise is generally greater than internally created noise even after attenuation. E4C12. How does a narrow band roofing filter affect receiver performance? C. It improves blocking dynamic range by attenuating strong signals near the receiver frequency. E4C13 says, what is a reciprocal mixing? And that's D, local oscillator phase noise mixing with adjacent strong signal to create interference to desired channels. E4C14, what is the purpose of receiver IF shift control? C, to reduce interference from stations transmitting on adjacent frequencies. E4D, receiver performance characteristics, dynamic range, intermodulation, and cross-modulation interference. Third order intercept, desensitization, preselector, sensitivity, and link margin. E4D01, what is meant by the blocking dynamic range of a receiver? A. The difference in dB between the noise floor and the level of an incoming signal that will cause 1 dB of gain compression. E4D02, which of the following describes problems caused by poor dynamic range in a receiver? A. Spurious signals caused by cross modulation and desensitization from strong adjacent signals. E4D03, what creates intermodulation interference between two repeaters in close proximity? B, the output signals mix in the final amplifier of one or both transmitters.
E4D04, which of the following is used to reduce or eliminate intermodulation interference in a repeater caused by a nearby transmitter? Let's be a properly terminated circula circulator at the output of the repeater's transmitter. E4D05, what transmitter frequencies would create an intermodulation product signal in a receiver tuned to 146.700 MHz when a nearby station transmits on 146.52 MHz? A. 146.34 MHz to 146.61 MHz. E4D06, what is the term for the reduction in receiver sensitivity caused by a strong signal near the received frequency? And that's desensitization. E4 D07, which of the following reduces the likelihood of receiver desensitization? A. Insert in attenuation before the first RF stage. E4 D08, what, is, what causes intermodulation in an electronic circuit? That's C. Nonlinear circuits or devices. E4 D09, what is the purpose of the preselector in a communications receiver? C. To increase the rejection of signals outside the band being received. E4D10. What does a third order intercept level of 40 dBm mean with respect to receiver performance? C. A pair of 40 dBm input signals will theoretically gain or generate a third order intermodulation product that has the same output amplitude as either of the input signals. E4D11, why, why are odd order intermodulation products created within a receiver of particular interest compared to other products? A, odd order products of two signals in the band being received are also likely to be within the band. E4D12, what is the link margin in a system with a transmit power level of 100 watt plus 40 dBm a system antenna gain of T 10 dBi, a cable loss of 3 dB, a path loss of 136 dB, a receiver minimum discernible signal of negative 103 dBm, and a required signal to noise ratio of 6 dB. C. Plus 8 dB. E4 D13. What is the received signal level with a transmitter power of 100 watts? A transmit antenna gain of 6 dBi, a receive antenna gain of 3 dBi, and a path loss of 100 dB. That answer is A, negative, 100, or negative 51 dBm. E4, D14, what, is the, what power level does the receiver minimum discernible signal of negative, one, one, negative 100 dBm represent? D, 0 0.1 picowatts. E4E, noise and interference, external RF interference, electrical and computer noise, line noise, DSP filtering and noise reduction, common mode current, surge protectors, single point, ground plane. E4E01, what problem can occur when using an automatic notch filter to remove interfering carriers while receiving CW signals? A, the removal of the CW signal as well as the interfering carrier. E4E02, which of the following types of noise can often be reduced? by a digital noise reduction. D, all of these choices are correct, which is broadband white noise, ignition noise, and power line noise. E4, E03, which of the following types of noise are removed by a noise blanker? That's B, impulse noise. E4, E04, how can conducted noise from an automobile battery charging system be suppressed? D, by installing ferrite chucks on the charging system leads. E4E05, what is used to suppress radio frequency interference from a line-driven AC motor? B, brute force AC line filter in series with the motor's power leads. E4E06, what type of electrical interference can be caused by computer network equipment? C, the appearance of unstable, modulated, or unmodulated signals at specified or specific frequencies. E4E07, which of the following can cause shielded cables to radiate or receive interference? B, common mode currents on the shield and conductors. E4E08, what current flows equally on all conductors of an unshielded multi-conductor cable? B, common mode current. 
E4E09, what undesirable effect can occur when using a noise blanker? C. Strong signals may be distorted or appear to be to cause spurious emissions. E4E10, which of the following can create intermittent loud roaring or buzzing AC line interference? Answer is D. All of these choices are correct, which is arcing context in a thermo thermostatically controlled device, a defective doorbell or doorbell transformer inside a nearby residence, and a malfunctioning eliminated dis advertising display. E4E11, what could cause the local AM broadcast band signals combining to generate spurious emissions on the MF or HF bands? That's B. Nearby corroded metal connections are mixing and re-radiating the broadcast signals. E4E12, what causes interference received as series of carriers at regular intervals across a wide frequency range? A. Switch mode power supplies. E4E13, where should station AC surge protectors be installed? At C, on the single point ground panel. E4E14, what is the purpose of a single point ground panel? That's D, to ensure all lightning protectors activate at the same time. And that concludes sub element E4. Hopefully, you'll join us for sub element E5 later.